Uh, Judith, it's Marcus. Welcome. Hello. Um, just wanting to probably change subjects because I haven't been listening, but um, I was just wondering who chooses the name for the albatross chicks. Um, I believe it's a competition and you put your names in of what you want the chick to be called. Um, and it's a Maori name, again, as it was last year, and I'm not sure about the year before. Um, who's Who decides that? Do you have any idea or any of your listeners have any idea? I mean, sure. I have I just don't, I'm not at all racist, but I don't know why the albatross chicks have to be called a Maori name all the time. As opposed to? Reg or Jack or Bob or whatever. But it's always a Maori name. Have you entered? It's, yes, I have. But what, what name did you suggest? Bob. <laughs> and, and the reason for that? No reason. It was just a, I don't think you have to give a reason. I am unsure about that. It was just a, um, you can put your, what you want the chick to be called. But it's never, ever called anything except it, well, I, I can't say never, ever, but for the last two or three years, it's always been a Maori name. I, I don't understand why. Okay. I'm just looking at the terms and conditions of name the chick. Mm -hmm. A panel of judges from DOC will then narrow down entries to the top 20 names judged on the based on the judging criteria below. The Te Pauri A Pukakura Co-Management Trust will then vote on the top five names. Mm -hmm. The judging okay. criteria are follows. Relevance to the theme celebrating connection, chick, colony or species. Originality and creativity of the name and inspiration. Reflective of the characteristics of the species or their habitat on the peninsula. Mm -hmm. Do you think Bob would fit in those criteria well? Oh, not, not particularly, no. But no. I just wonder why um, it is always a very name. Because I don't think albatrosses are particularly uh, related to the Maoris. Well, they're not people. Or they're not a, a bird that's, you know, um, that's depicted particularly by the Maori community. Uh, uh, they do... go all around the world, don't they? Yes, but those ones are the only ones in the world that nest on the mainland. Mm-hmm. So that itself would say that that's probably, f from my reckoning, would mean that they uh, they have always been there. Mm hmm But has that mainland always been Maori, or does it have to be a Maori name? They're also very important to um, ordinary New Zealanders. Okay, tell me about that. Oh, well, I can't... Um, Relate history about it, but have they been they, important? Have they been important to you? Well, of course they have. They've always been here and always came down to Tyro ahead. Yeah, they have been important. Okay, they're um, a beautiful bird, and they. Why would you want to call a bird Bob? Oh, it's not. Well. It's not. An, it's not an English bird. Well, is it a Maori bird? Is it a Maori? Yes, well, it's they, bird. They, 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 is it a Maori bird? Well, tell me what the definition of a, of a Maori bird is. You tell me what the definition of, of, of a um, New Zealand bird is. Because it's called Atafai, which is Maori for kindness. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's well, because because I'll... Jacinda Jacinda said we needed to be kind, and the second one was Marama. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't I don't speak Tirio, so whatever it's called. I can't. I've been frankly trying to Google it. I can't find out what the earlier albatrosses were called. Rightio. But I'll see if okay. I can find a I'll see if I can find a list, Judith.
Thank you. 10 away from 12.